AMD stock. AMD ticker symbol on the day, taking an absolute beating. Let me show you. Today, down an additional 6.04%. Not pretty at all. More and more red, more and more pain after what we thought was potentially a significant and ongoing rebound. In fact, over the past five days, we are still up 11.15%. But when we zoom out a bit further, one month returns to negative. Six month returns of negative 38% year to date, now down 35.92%. It's not pretty. It's not a nice picture to see, especially when you've been trying to persevere with AMD for so long. I know that so many investors on the channel, so many investors who follow the channel are AMD investors. You invest consistently in AMD over time. As you've seen the stock charts declining, you've been consistently inputting more capital. And yet what do you get? All you get is further declines. All you get is more pain. Now, ask yourself, in this fear-laden, doubtful, anxiety-filled marketplace, this type of selling in relation to this type of extremely high quality company with massively positive secular trends with a tremendous degree of growth potential going forward. This type of selling on the day, is it really rational? Is it really justified that a company of this class, this high caliber is getting bashed down with the marketplace more broadly? You may say yes. You may say for a long time, these companies have been overvalued and it's time they get brought down in value. But truth of the matter is, when you actually look at the tangible underlying fundamentals of AMD, when you look at the tangible valuation on the day in correlation with the decline today, I think it's a very different narrative. It's a far more positive, a far more advantageous, a far more opportunistic narrative on a value-centric basis. Let me show you. This is ridiculous. The forward PE for AMD at present today is a forward PE of only 23.4. This is relative to a three-year revenue growth rate of 30%, a three-year EBITDA growth rate of 79.9%, massive growth, perpetuating for this company not only on a revenue basis, but also on a tangible earnings basis. Massive, massive growth taking place, and yet, all the company has been assigned is a forward PE of 23.4. Now, forward PE of 23.4, that's pricing in only around 17, 18% growth going forward in the next decade. That's almost half of what they've been achieving in terms of revenue growth alone over the past three years. How is that justified? How is that rational in this marketplace? Well, the answer, the answer to that question is quite frankly, it's not. With the irrationality, the doubt, the fear prevalent within this marketplace, this company continues to be punished and unjustifiably so. Let me show you. Underlying financial strength is there. We know that. We know there's a large degree of profitability, room for profitability expansion going forward, complemented by a tremendous degree of underlying financial strength, high cash to debt ratio. But what we do need to investigate, what we do need to have a look at is that tangible valuation on the day. With that decline of 6% today, is it a justified valuation? Is it a time to buy into the stock? Well, as I said before, only a growth rate of 19% or so Look, 19.17%, we're fairly valued. We're paying a fair value for this company, even with a low growth rate of 19% on an earnings per share basis going forward over the next decade. That is all it takes. That is the evidence. That is the degree of undervaluation brought down by irrationality in this marketplace. So if you can be rational, if you can be focused in this marketplace and not get caught up in these day-to-day -day fluctuations, these day-to-day -day declines in prices, but instead... Focus on the underlying nature of the company you own, the immensely high quality nature of so many of the businesses within this marketplace right now. That's how you get long-term returns. That's how you outperform over the long term. Now, if we up that growth rate, if we get more rational on the day, you know, Lisa Su, CEO of AMD, she's been pricing out around 30% compounded annual growth over the next decade. Well, what happens if we price that in? A 30% rate of earnings per share growth going forward in the next decade. We will increase our discount rate to 10% because, you know, the Fed is increasing rates, so it's good to use a higher discount rate in our calculations. Look at that fair value. A fair value of $181.84. A margin of safety of 47%. That is the reality. That's the reality in the day when you continue to see these declines. That's the reality in the day when you continue to see this pain in the marketplace. That is the type of opportunity that comes apparent. Massive margin of safety, massive upside potential, and complemented by what is evidently an extremely high quality underlying business. This is the reality on the day. AMD remains a very 
very advantageous buy. But of course, conduct your own research before you make any moves in the marketplace. Make sure to analyze the fundamentals. Make your own valuation before any decisions are made. But if you enjoyed this video, if you have to learn something more about my current thoughts on AMD relative to the market more broadly, then please drop us a like down below. Hit subscribe if you have not already. If there's something you want to talk about, a, a, a topic or a stock you want me to discuss in the next video, then please just comment down below. would love to hear your thoughts. Until then, thank you. I'll see you in the next one.